Hello, I'm David Feinstein. I'm a clinical psychologist, and I'm very honored to have been asked to give a plenary address at this year's ASAP. My topic is, what does energy have to do with the energy psychology? Seems obvious, it's right there in our name. Yet, for the past 20 years, there's been a lot of confusion in just what are these energies that we're shifting? What are we changing when we tap on acupuncture points or hold or tap on a chakra or weave our aura? What are the energies? What is their nature? Are they subtle energies? Are they measurable energies like the capacity to do work? Are they electromagnetic energies? Are they somehow involved with quantum fields? We've had a lot of confusion about that. However, in recent years, a number of research studies that are in related fields, not in energy psychology, have shown us a great deal about the energies we work with. And understanding that not only satisfies our curiosity, it also helps us be more effective clinicians. We have a map now of how our energies shift the neural pathways that we are changing when we're working with long-standing patterns, when we're working with PTSD, when we're working with anxieties that have plagued a person all their life. So it's a very exciting area and I'm very thrilled to have an opportunity to share it with you.